And welcome back to the Financially Simple Experience. Today, I want to continue our discussion around the power of video, specifically as it contains to marketing. Now, we all recognize that marketing, marketing is one of the most important aspects of our business. I was writing a report for a very large business, and I was illustrating to them the power of marketing. I was pulling up data points like Apple spent $2 billion in advertising alone. I was pulling up data research on how we consume marketing that if, if people um, re, read your content and they walk through a retail store, 64% of the people have already decided they're going to buy your particular product or service. So it's the power of marketing. But when we think about marketing, especially as it's morphed over the last decade or so, video has become more and more prominent. But why? Why is it that we as a populace are attracted to video? You know, Hollywood has spent millions, billions of dollars uh, perfecting the art of storytelling through video. But we in our small businesses, we often are too busy. We forget, we don't place the emphasis on video that our consumers were to expect. If we took the Hollywood approach and we spent time and energy creating visual caricatures or visual graphics or movement animation for our marketing, then what could happen? That's what I want to look at is the power of video as it relates to marketing. The first thing we have to recognize is that video is in demand. Video is in demand. According to Business Insider, digital video viewership has grown faster than expected. We've seen a rapid increase in viewership between just 2019 and 2020. COVID was powerful in that aspect. I mean, if you think about it, we went from, you know, working nine to five in office type jobs as a populace to video, video meetings, video connection. And video just took a rapid movement. We saw prices of certain streaming video companies. We saw their stock prices shoot through the roof during this time period because of the demand and the, and the placement of video in our lives. The United States in 2022 had over 248 million viewers of digital videos. 248 million Friends, there's 350 million roughly people in the United States. Out of that, 248.9 million viewers in 2022 alone as it relates to digital videos. A, a survey by HubSpot, which is a powerful company, if you've never heard of them, I challenge you to check them out. They've got some really cool marketing programs. Found that video had more consi consistent demand by all age groups across all forms of content created by businesses. So when we talk about all age groups, oftentimes we have to niche into a particular target persona. Maybe it's, you know, maybe it's preteen, maybe it's teen, maybe it's young adult, maybe it's married, maybe it's retirees, pre-retirees, post-retirees. There could be a lot of different age groups there. But HubSpot found that age didn't matter, nor did the placement of the video matter. So the video, whether it be in a streaming platform like Netflix or Hub, uh, Hulu or YouTube, or it came through an email with the video embedded or via social media, just going to, let's say, Facebook and watching Reels. It didn't matter. We found that HubSpot found that there was a more consistent demand across all age groups and across all forms of medium than any other form of demand because of video. More importantly, the HubSpot also found that video had the highest rate of thorough consumption, meaning that once somebody started, they either watched it through its entirety or watched the majority of it. So if we look at video, video has about 62% of consumption versus 32% of skimming of an email. So whenever you think about it, in your own world, if you get an email, I mean, we get I, I, one day last week, I had 600 emails in one day come through my inbox. I didn't read them all. But the ones that had video embedded, I can watch the video, and I hate video, but I could watch the video and get the message, and, I, and you had a higher consumption rate. So video is in. Video is in. Now, unless you're weird like me, you would agree and probably recognize those statements. The reason why I say if, unless you're weird like me is because I, I'm not a video consumer. Um, it's just not who I am. I love to read. Every morning I read for a couple of hours. 
this morning. Um, and here's my ritual. I, I read this news article, this, this, um, this, what do you call it? Newsletter from the daily brew. I, I love it. it. It's just a quick synopsis. I'll read wall street journal. Typically I'll typically read one of my proverbs in the morning time. Um, some sort of a self help self thinking. I, I got to get my head thinking right every morning. Um, that's just who I am. And then I'm reading some sort of a book. I always have a book going on. And so that's my morning ritual. Now, is it the same every morning? No. I mean, sometimes if I'm in the woods like this last weekend, I was in the woods and I was sitting there reading articles upon articles and doing some research. I'm sitting there literally watching turkeys walk around. I'm a reader. So for me to sit down and consume video, it just drives me crazy because it's too slow for my mind. If I were going to get my, my senses going, I would be in nature. I like to watch I like to watch animals. I like to watch nature. To me, there's nothing more beautiful than watching the sunrise. There's nothing more beautiful. It means it's a new beginning. No matter what happened yesterday, to me, a sunrise kind of sets everything. You can't capture that in video. My senses aren't fully engaged. So I'm not a video person, but I'm weird. (laughs) Most people are video consumers. Um, So video is in demand. But then not only is it in demand, video has a return on investment component and a lead generation component. You see, creating video for marketing doesn't have to be expensive. I'm holding a um, smartphone in my hand for those of you who are watching me on YouTube video. (laughs) For those of you watching me on YouTube, I'm holding a smartphone. It is an Android, hence I said smartphone. If it was a different product, it would not be a smartphone. So this is a smartphone. It's an Android. Yes, okay. Leave me something on Twitter telling me why I'm wrong or on Facebook, Instagram, something. Just tell me why I'm wrong about that. But I have an Android phone. It is a smartphone. On my Android phone, on the back of it, there are four cameras. On the front of it, there are two, two different cameras on the front of this thing. It is a powerful camera. Um, Compared to cameras when I was in high school or, candidly, five years ago, This thing is unbelievable. I remember the first time I shot a video walking through the woods, it was like I was in some sort of an IMAX cinema. I mean, it was crystal clear. So I can grab my phone, I can put it on selfie mode, hold it out in front of me, and I can record anything instantly to Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. I can record to YouTube. I can create high quality videos. Me as just an old, just an old country boy lives on a gravel road. I can grab my phone, hold it in front of me, and talk into the camera and impact the lives of millions of people. Business marketing doesn't have to be expensive. I remember when I first started marketing, I had to have marketing crews, video crews, come out to the office, pay them thousands of dollars a month for them to bring high tech software in and shoot me talking through whatever the concept was that day. Now, it is easy. It's so simple. It's probably why 88% of video marketers are satisfied with the return on investment of their video marketing efforts on social media. Let me say it again. 88% of video marketers are satisfied with the ROI, the return on investment of their marketing efforts on social media. See, if you're not paying anything besides your cell phone, and you get into a regular habit in your business to share whatever it is you do in business with your followers, you create an unbelievable return on investment. Let me give you a real life scenario, okay? So we have a a vast array of clients that we serve through the WellSource Business Advisor channel. Uh, Most of our clients are in the retail, I'm sorry, in the service sector. So let's say that we have somebody who builds swimming pools. If they take their phone and they shoot a pool being built each phase of time, each day. Hey, here's what we're doing. They document it. That provides an ROI because some customer is going to watch that and they're going to want to engage you. And you say, well, Justin, I'm going to give all my tricks away to my competition. Who cares? Who cares? There's There's a plethora there. There's abundance all around us of people who want good quality service. So what? You're helping your competition. Outperform them through quality control, through service. So we did. It was amazing to watch happen. Let's say that you're an auto repair company. Take your phone. Explain, here's how you change the oil. Here's how you change an engine. Here's how you reset the timing. Here's how, and whatever the list is. Let's say that you work for a ditch digging company 
and you're putting in water lines, shoot a video of you tying one type of pipe into another type of pipe. You can create how-to videos. I'm amazed, and I often have quoted this gentleman. I've never met him. Um, he's a painter in Idaho. His channel is called The Idaho Painter. Literally, look it up. It's on YouTube, The Idaho Painter. I'm, in, I'm fascinated with his ability. He literally paints things and has an unbelievable following. You know, the old adage of it's, it's easier than watching paint dry. This is a painter. It's not an overly complex business, but I have found myself watching and picking, picking up tips from him. And candidly, if I were in his market, I would hire him to paint my house because he shows me his quality. He communicates. He shows me his work ethic. He pours into his audience through video. So friends, let me ask you, whenever you look at your business, are you investing in video? You see, companies that are use video to improve their business, among other things, are increasing their sales, their brand awareness, their retention rate, their social intellect, the social capital amongst their amongst their colleagues, amongst their peers, and ultimately they're driving the greatest client to their door, which is the greatest client is the person who's ultimately going to buy the business. So, friends, grab a phone, man, grab a phone. And share the world that you live in. Don't worry about the naysayers. I'm reminded of Dave Ramsey's statement. I can bail the hate mail. Bail like you're bailing hay. I can bail the hate mail. Whenever I first heard that, I didn't understand. Now now that I'm out there, I don't get fly and flip anymore, people say. Because I, I know I'm right. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, just ask me. I'll tell you I'm right. I'm joking. No, I'm not. Not really. I'm joking. Not really. <laughs> no, so... Grab a video. Don't worry about the naysayers. Go out and share what you do. Man, you can get an unbelievable ROI for your business. Not only that, but it generates leads. There's, there's a report that's done by, I'm going to spell this because it's hard to say. It's Weisel, but it's spelled W-Y-Z-O-W-L. Weisel, that's how it's pronounced it. And what the report says is that 83% of marketers say that video helps lead generation. 66% of marketers said they received more qualified leads per year once they implemented video. I, I can attest to that. The minute we started engaging in video, little short clips or these long videos that we share on YouTube, we started seeing our engagement, our leads, the quality of our leads become more impactful. I had a had a guest on the podcast, Mr. Patrick Brewer, and he stay, made a statement that I've thought about a lot since he made it. He said, you know, Justin, you're authentic. You are. You, you live vicariously through your microphone. Nothing is off limits. And friends, this is who I am day in, day out. This is the country boy personality. But he said, I would love for you to be more intimate. I would love for you to get involved more with people where you can touch them, feel them, be in their presence, you know, get all the sense. I want you to be intimate with people. Video allows that. Video allows us to get facial facial recognition, nonverbal communication, allows tone, inflection, so much more than just audio alone or than a static picture. There was a, a report done that said that 74% of users who watched an explainer video or how-to video about a product or service subsequently bought it. Let me say that again. People who watched how-to videos or explainer videos or teaching videos, 74% of them eventually bought the product or service. So how are you going to incorporate video into your business? The power of video, friends, it's, it's amazing. I've watched it in my own business. I've watched it dynamically change the narrative. I've watched market penetration happen because of video. We have no excuses. If we know our clear target market, we know our product or service, then all we've got to do is pick up our phones. Hopefully you have a smartphone. You pick up our phones and we talk to that customer. We, we, we share our product, our service, our lives, our person with our customer. And in doing so, we change a narrative. 
we drastically increase the value of our companies. You say, Justin, that man, that sounds all good and dandy, but I don't even know where to begin. Hey, reach out to us. We got a group of business advisors that are rock stars. They know how to help you. They can orchestrate as part of the strategic plan, a marketing plan. We have marketing experts that can help you with that. You say, Justin, I, I, I'm not even in the business where I'm still worried about trying to pay myself. Hey, we have financial planners who know how to help you. Look, friends, we have built an ecosystem of education, but education, everything we talk through, we teach, that we share through this to the channel, Financially Simple, education without application leads to stagnation. Well, how are you applying what we're teaching to change your position, to change your business, to change your family's future, to change the future of your employees, your customers, your vendors? Let's make some application. Friends, I realize it's hard. What we deal with as business owners is hard. It is. It doesn't have to be. Let's continue to make our lives at least financially simple. Hey, y'all go out and make it a great day.